Good morning YouTube, it's Johnny Jetpack here. I woke up this morning, Sunday morning, and uh, looked outside. Looks like a beautiful day. And then I was checking my inbox on my emails and noticed a few new YouTube subscriber notifications and some comments on some of my previous videos. And among the comments and the new subscribers, I noticed somebody that is right here in my hometown, right here in Salt Lake City. I'll put a link over to his channel. Looks like he's just getting started on motovlogging. Did a pretty good job on his first video. Give him a shout out. I can't remember his username, I'm sorry, but I'll put the link down below. So I've got a bunch of stuff on my mind today. First and foremost on my mind, is how to work for a better company and get paid half as much. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you a little bit of background here. As you know, I work in the car business selling cars. I've worked at a couple of different dealerships over the past few years. Both of them were the same brand, Subaru. And up until uh, about a year and a half ago, I worked at a previous dealership and I really didn't like the dealership very much. It just wasn't me. Nothing bad in particular about them. It was just a little bit further from my house. And and I wasn't a good fit with, with all of the other guys there. They've got some cultural differences and just some uh, differences in ways of thinking. And the managers there, their, their style's kind of not my style. It didn't really work very well for me. But I did make a pretty good living, and Subaru is a really good brand. I like selling Subaru. So about a year and a half ago, I moved to another Subaru dealership. And to me at the time, it looked like uh, a really spectacular move. Like, I knew I was going to take a little bit of a pay cut at least at first. Well, I got things going, got things started. But the dealership itself was just way above and beyond the dealership that I worked at before. More inventory, um, better selection of cars, better work environment by far. I got along with the, all the employees really well, just hit it off right away. All the managers were, you know, right, right on my level. Seems like they all were kind of my kind of people, just to, for the bottom line. And so I moved over 18 months ago just knowing that it was a good move and, and that, uh, yeah, I was going to take a little bit of a pay cut at least at first until I ramped things back up, but eventually it was going to be just a spectacular career move. So now fast forward 18 months or so, yeah, I still love the dealership, love my work environment, love all my coworkers, the managers. It's really a terrific place to work. The only drawback is that I'm making around 50, 60 percent of what I used to make at the other dealership. Am I sorry that I left the other dealership? No, because as I said, I really didn't fit in there. I really didn't like the work environment. It felt uh, pretty oppressive and yeah, I got along okay with all the co-workers, but we really didn't seem to have much in common. They weren't the kind of guys that I'd really hang out with much in my off hours. Well, maybe one or two exceptions. I'd do things now and then with them. So for the past few weeks, I've been you know, rethinking things and just wondering if, if in fact I really had made a good move. It's been uh, a good solid 18 months. I, I feel like I've put my time in, put the effort in to, to make things work where I'm at, and try and bring my income back up to where it was, but the bottom line is that I'm just barely making ends meet. 
just barely paying the bills and meeting my expenses. Got mouths to feed and, and a house to keep up, utilities and payments to make, kids to take care of. So really what it comes down to is it doesn't matter how terrific the place is that I'm working, it's just not cutting it because I don't know about you but I go to work to make money and if the money's not there then it's more like a vacation than, than work, you know? It's a great place, I'm having fun, but you know, I really got to make ends meet. Here we go, making a, a Utah right hand turn. <laughs> got a little distracted there talking to you, YouTube. Don't do that. I mentioned that I got a notification from a new subscriber and he happens to live right across the valley from where I live. And in his video I saw some of the pretty mountain views and thought, and I was thinking this anyway before, for the last week or so, I should really ride over there over in the Wasatch Mountains right along the east side of the Salt Lake Valley. And so that's where I'm headed right now. So for the past few weeks I've been really thinking over this problem and really reluctant to look at anything else because I really love the place that I work right now. Then every time I get paid going through the bills trying to make ends meet it just it just isn't working for me. So a few days ago I decided to take take some of my vacation time try and sort through things and think things out and started looking around a little bit at, at other possibilities of where I could go being really reluctant to make a move at all but I kind of feel like I, I have no choice at this point I've got to look at other things because as I said I go to work and and I'm sure all of you are the same you go to work to make money and really for no other reason I mean I like what I do but I don't really see myself working for free or doing what I do just out of the pure love of it it's it's because I gotta make money so a couple of days ago I gave an old work buddy of mine a call somebody that I worked with like 15 years ago he works downtown at a Honda dealership in fact, it's the first dealership that I ever worked in the car business years and years ago. And at the time when I started out, and this is more of my history, at the time I started out in the car business because another friend of mine brought me over there. He happened to be the finance manager at this dealership. And he said, hey, why don't you come check this out? And back at that time, I was in the middle of starting up a photography company, and so I really wasn't looking for a permanent career. I was looking for something to make ends meet while I got the photography company up and running. So I stayed in the car business for a couple of years and then and then had my photography company running full time so that it it paid all the bills. And that ended up being what I thought was going to be my life career up until like 2007, 2008 when the economy took a turn for the worse. And, that plus digital cameras were out and I started out old school shooting all film and everything and made the transition okay over to digital photography but uh, the problem is with the local culture here is that people are really cheap and they don't want to pay really any money at all for anything and, and so what was happening is I would try and book all of these weddings and portraits and so forth and people would would say well I've got a, an uncle with a really nice digital camera or my neighbor or or my sister or a schoolmate or a workmate and what it is is that so many people now have nice digital cameras and everybody with a nice digital camera thinks they're a photographer it's really hard to to explain to to people that are they want their portraits taken or that are trying to hire somebody to photograph their wedding that hey you know you may not be too happy with the pictures you get out of your amateur neighbor or out of your amateur 
girlfriend that, that wants to be a photographer, but it was a kind of a losing argument, losing battle. People would end up going with uh, these freebies, and a lot of them ended up unhappy afterwards, but you can't, can't really tell people that to begin with. So I'm off track here a little bit, but yeah, I thought photography would be my lifetime career, so my first go in the car business was, in my mind, not really a permanent thing, and, and it was just to make things meet in the meantime while I got photography up and going. So now, a few days ago, I call up this, this buddy of mine that used to work at that Honda dealership, and he's been there the entire time, the whole last 16 years or so since I worked there with him. I ask him how things are over there, and, and he seems really happy. Obviously, he stayed there the whole time. And a few of the people there, the general manager is still there, who was there before. So I made an appointment and went in and, and chatted with him and, and their general sales manager as well. While I was on this vacation, turns out that I've sorted out a new job, and I'm going to be making the move this next week after I'm done burning up a couple of these vacation days, paid vacation days that I've got from my current employer. So as I said, I'd been really reluctant to make any kind of a change because, you know, if nothing else, I've, I've moved around a lot during my career and I thought photography was going to be it, but now I've come to the conclusion that wedding photography, portrait photography at least, in the area where I live just isn't going to cut it for me and so I'm a car guy, I'm a car salesman and that's where I've got to find a, a permanent choice. I thought my current employer was going to be the place but it turns out it's just not cutting it for me. I gotta make a move because I'm not making ends meet. So I'm stoked, I'm excited to make this move. It's happening this next week. Nice third gear start there, Johnny B. So this is the area I saw that other motor vlogger riding. Um, he was going the opposite direction right on the street, but it's kind of crazy watching a video and seeing areas that you know really well. I'm not going to ride exactly where he rode. Back when I was a kid, I used to, I used to teach up at one of the local scout camps, a Cub Scout camp, for a couple of summers when I was in my teens, I, I taught up there. So I thought I'd ride up that direction. It's Sunday, so there won't be any, any scouts up there. Maybe we can take a little look around. See that brown sign right there, Mill Creek Canyon? That's the canyon we're gonna ride up. I expect uh, this canyon's just gonna be packed with cyclists and hikers and all kinds of other recreationists. I just remembered this is a this canyon is a recreation area and they, they do charge a toll to go up here, so <laughs> plan B, I might turn around right up here and go up another canyon. Yep, there it is. Toll area, so I'm probably just gonna turn it around here, go up another canyon. <laughs> 